Hello everyone. This is Leslie A. Pope and Leslie Rogowski, Team Leslie of the Beatsmith. Woohoo! Here to bring hi. you hi, here <laughs> to bring you another fast and fabulous project. We love them. It's a component piece, and I'm just gonna show you the earrings, but as you can see, lots of lovely color. Gym duos and ginkgo beads. We're still on the two hole beat, oh, yeah. two hole bead kick. Yeah. We love it. And so, mini duos, which is cool. Oh, that's right. Yes, mini duos, yeah. which I haven't actually played around with a lot. But as so usual, nice. yeah. I hung my little chain dangle off the bottom. I just love adding extra metal. That's becoming to, a little signature. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. But I mean, it's a good way to put metal into your right. your projects which always elevates things and you're using the um, micro grip uh, tools right yes yes because you're doing something very fine so these are nice the tips are nice and fine the handles are small I think these are my new favorite pliers. They, I really like the uh, reflex action in them too, yeah. which if you don't like that, you can take out. Yes, but. but so this is the small flat nose. I also have the bent nose, which I like. It really helps you to get into some of those tiny areas for and that little chain. Yes, and then the cutters for the chain, because the chain is very fine. Right. But... That hey, Meredith. The... <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. So, and as usual, our new thing is all the uh, supplies for it will be listed on our, uh, on the, on the website, on the website mm -hmm. under the Facebook live product. Well, that's for our customers. Our, uh, yeah. Our, but, but if you. It'll be in um, I Love Beads, right? I Love right? Beads, yes. The pattern will be in I Love right. Beads. And this is what it's supposed to look like. And as you see, you can also make a bracelet, but we're gonna do cool. the earrings today. Right. Because literally, I think it took me 10 minutes to do it. It's true. <laughs> yes. You're like, I'm gonna make these in from Matubo. Yes. Here, I'm done. <laughs> yes. And also, it's a good stash buster because you don't need a lot of stuff to do it, which is something else that I like a lot. Yep. So you have your, your ginkgos. Pretty colors. 15 rounds, 11 rounds, 8 rounds, mini duos, and gym duos. And, of course, I'm using backlit because I just love the backlit sparkle, gym do. I just can't get enough of them. So. And if you're coming out to Tucson, we'll see you there, Meredith. You're going to see us um, <laughs> demoing a lot of this stuff there, too. <gasps> Hi from Poland. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> Rogowski. I should know Polish, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So let's get started. So I have my pre-strung needle. It's, uh, I put about 15 inches of um, fire line on it, six pound. Ta-da. And um, I'm using a size 11 needle just because we have the 15. So you want it, you want to be able to get through your 15s twice. Right. So I'm using a size 11 needle. So let's get started. So, well, with the, with the ginkgos, they're going to tell you to either go through the tip end and then you're going to pick up your gym duo and then you're going to go through the curve end. So they sit like a little shield like curve to curve curve to curve yeah, yeah. yes so we're gonna and go. you want to pick up your gem duos so that um the point faces, faces out, out the yes. open hole faces yes out. and your color is facing up not your not right. your back end right yes all righty and then you're going to pick up three 15s here we go, chasing beads around the bead mat. <laughs> and 11. And three more. 15. And they're jumping around like jumping beads, probably static. It's so dry. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're... Hey, Kim Newman's watching. Oh, hi, hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. And then you're going to go back through your second ginkgo. There we go. Oh, I'm moving around. Am I moving around too much? 
That's okay. I'll follow you. Just tell me if I start to, ho you know, block your view. <laughs> and then we're going to pick up our next gym duo and go through the second curve. It'll get a lot less fiddly after we get this on here. Yeah, once you get the components yeah. started. And then. So you can see when she There we it go. Down. And then we're going to do the reverse on the other side. So. Don't cut it with your hand if you can help it. Three fifteens. An eleven. And three more fifteens. So you're bringing the fifteens around the tip end, tip end of, of, the, the, ginkgo. of the ginkgo. And then you're going to tie a knot as your connector. Oh boy. There we go. So you're knotting your working thread to your tail. tail thread, yeah. Got it. Yvette from the Bahamas. Wow. Is it warm down there? Because it's sure cold up here. <laughs> okay, so that is the beginning of your component right there. So wow, that you're was, like halfway done. Mm -hmm, so that was round one. So okay. round two, you're going to add your mini duo. So you pick them at 11 and three mini duos. Hey, Linda. Thanks for tuning in. The owner of Cal Beads in oh, Cali, California. California. Kathy. Kofi, it's warm one out of there, our, too. One of our devoted followers, Kathy. <laughs> nice to see you. And Bianca. Oh, cool. Kathy, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Hi, so, Anita. And then three more. Come here. Three there more. There you go. Maybe I should move everything That's a little okay. closer. And then an 11. And I like the gonna, way they fan out yeah. around the piece. And then you sew through your 15s. Ah. Come on, there we go. You definitely need an 11 or a 12. Yeah, at needle, least, to yeah, get through, to those get through 15s, there. Yeah. Right? Then you skip your 11 and sew through the 15. So you're popping your 11 like a peacoat. See how it stands up off of the cool the ginkgo. Mm -hmm. That's and a then, nice trick to do it too, to go then, back and sew through those beads and leave the one middle one to pop out. And then we're back to adding our mini duos. There we go. And oh. so, by the way, you guys, we're doing this from a different location, and it looks like we're not having those connectivity, blurry, connectivity yeah, streaming issues. issues. Yes. So. Shout out if you are having issues seeing us or hearing us ever. But okay. but this looks good. I can really see. And then we're going to go back through the 15s. And we're going to go underneath the 11 again to pop it out. But we're only going to go through two 15s. Ah. But you still want to pop your, pop your 11. So that was round two. So here's round three, and then you're done. You're going to pick up two 15s. So you're coming out of two of those yeah, three two, 15s? Yeah, two of cool. those three 15s. Okay. And then you pick up two 15s and sew through the open hole of your first mini duo. Nice. And then you're going to pick up an 11 and sew through the next mini duo. And then another 11 do that mini duo and now you're going to pick up an eight because this is where you're going to put your jump rings so you have a nice big bead out I just stuck myself <laughs> and so that's that first inclination there and then more elevens hi Charlene hi Jer Ooh, family. I'm behind the camera today, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> and two more 15s. And the same thing. You're going to go through the top two 15s. Because this makes like a little, a little bridge. Okay, I'm tangled as usual. What? Ah, between the, um, the duos and the seed beads? Yeah. Nice. So it's like sitting there over top of your... 11. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. And then you're cool. going to go through your 11 and two 15s. Ta-da. 
and repeat. So two fifteens through your mini duo. So you make that little bridge again, right? Make that right? little bridge again, and then add your elevens. One, two. It's nice to have so many people watching. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. It's really a cool project. And here's Wait, do you your, see what else you can do? Here's your eight. And we're almost done with round three. So when you get to the end of the round, they tell you to, um, to tie it off. But I would suggest that you run through the whole outer edge of the component. Yep. Again, Roger. just mm -hmm. to uh, to make it more stable. Why am I doing that? Okay, there we go. So it's live. <laughs> it's live. live. Yeah. So that's the that's the component, yet. and you would just you know weave your tail in and trim it off, and I would run around the outside again. Um, before you add your findings, but in the essence of time, I'm not going to do that. Anita's asking, what's the best thread? Um, well, I'm using Fireline 6 pound, but if you're not a fan of Fireline, you could always use a D weight, um, you know, beading thread, mm -hmm. S lawn, you know, Nymo. Oh, no. Yeah. But, you know, this is such a small, this is such a small component. So we're going to act like I did everything and trimmed everything off. And then I'm going to pick up my trusty, dusty micro pliers, <laughs> micro pliers and add my jump rings. And remember, when you open your jump rings, you twist them towards you and away from you. So you don't torque it out of shape. And you're linking it through the eight. I'm linking it through the eight. It's a, it's like a 21 gauge, um, five millimeter jump ring. And then I'm going to add the ear wire. And then we're going to close up the jump ring. So torque it back towards you till it snaps. You hear that little click when the ends come together. It and, means it's good. And there's the ear wire. Nice. And so earlier... I took my other jump ring and added my three little, my, my three little, my five little lengths of chain. They're about an inch long. This has become like one of my little favorite things to do when I hang off of earrings. So we're just going to open this guy back up. There we go. And we're going to put him through the bottom size eight. And close him back up. 21 gauge, you said, right? Yeah, 21 gauge. 21 gauge yeah. is good. It's strong enough to hold its form when you open and close, and close it, it yeah. but thin enough to go through. And it's not like it's going to be something yeah. heavy. So ignore my little threads. Look, you're done one. And that is your earring. And I think I probably still did that in about 10 minutes. Easily, yeah. Easily. So... <laughs> I had so much fun making the earrings <laughs> yeah. that I actually said, I'm going to make the bracelet. So here's the bracelet. And you just make as many components as you need and put in your jump rings through your eights. And then I decided to double the jump rings on the connector. Nice little decorative yeah. touch. Yeah, and it's also a little extra strength because, you know, sometimes you can pull your your uh, jump ring open without That's meaning right. to do it and so here is the piece de resistance i take this guy off <laughs> so leslie has grown on me with her rings so i had an extra component so of course Look. i made a ring so it's just the component and then i did a odd count peyote on the band so and show them where it connects. It connects right like here, along the side. right here on your eights. So I did a one, 
on over the um the mini duo and two over the eights so it didn't pull and then another one so you are actually doing odd count so it's one two one right yes good so and so fast so and so cute. cute and so i made another one <laughs> Now you have them to match your earrings. Yes, and, and, and I guess I guess I'll have to make a bracelet out of the green at some point in time. So that was the fast and fabulous 10-minute Palmera earrings. Very cool. And, and sorry. <laughs> and the this pattern will actually be in our I Love Beads free project section. So anybody can anyone under can Ginkos, t- under Ginkos or um Gym Duos. Right. Yes. Our I Love Beads page is accessible to anybody. You do not have to be a customer. And just remember to find the beads, beads and other quality beads, 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 tools, and supplies like the micro grips yeah. and the treasure mat. Yeah, which I love. I love working on my treasure mat. And you find these at your favorite bead reseller. Uh, yes. We love love beads. beads. See ya. Bye.